So at this time, we don't have any evidence that VSS occurs more commonly in disorders such as multiple sclerosis. We don't have evidence that other neurologic disease trigger the development of VSS. But likely, as we really start to hear more about VSS, as awareness increases, we will potentially see some relationships that we didn't know about before. So we really have to stay open to understanding whether or not it's possible another disease could trigger VSS. It certainly is difficult when the, what we call the signal is so low, meaning we don't have a lot of patients with multiple sclerosis and we don't have a lot of patients with VSS that we know about at this current time. And so if the signals from both of those camps are very low and diseases to be more specific, if diseases are in the rare category, it's very difficult to tie them together. But we have to keep an open mind about that in the future as the Visual Snow Initiative is really increasing awareness about this condition. It's really helping us to understand better the prevalence and the incidence of VSS.